Okay, just a little bit more information here. Back at the uh, computer, what I've got here are uh, two things. One, I have that TED 5000 system hooked up to the wind turbine. It's probably too small to see, but uh, getting about 0 0.054, 0 0.044, 45, 46 watts. And right next to it is the reading from the in-speed sensor. If anything, that's probably lower than what the turbine's getting. It's not mounted in a very great location, and I get that. But ballpark, it gives you an idea where I'm, what I'm looking at. The turbine's actually, I assume, getting a little bit better than the vortex there. But uh, you know, it shows I've gotten a maximum of uh, 26 mile an hour wind a day. And if we go into the graphing function, the TED system, and let's go for a minute view here. Now let's look at the last four hours. This has basically been tracking the wind turbine's performance. Probably not well enough to see here, but as I go through, I've gotten a peak of, there's 92 watts, 86 watts. Not even sure I've broken 100. And taking a look at the weather data on a separate weather station I have, there are the winds we've been getting. Ever since 10 a.m., reds in average there. That's 15, 20, 25. So you can see we've easily had gusts uh, in the 25, 30 range and averages up there. So to not even break 100 watts is obviously uh, there, there's a problem there somewhere. So we'll have to dig around and see what the issue is, but uh, certainly not uh, very good uh, performance.